Hey guys, what's up? Today I've got my review of the Nexus 4. This is Google's flagship phone for 2012 and 2013 that's built by LG, so let's see what they've packed in for such a relatively cheap price. To start off, let's talk specs. This phone comes with a Snapdragon S4 Pro processor clocked at 1.5GHz, of course it is quad-core. 2GB of RAM, a 4.7 inch 1280x768 IPS screen with Gorilla Glass 2, an 8 megapixel camera with LED flash, 8 or 16GB of storage, here I have the 8GB model, wireless charging, and NFC. Let's get the boring stuff out of the way first. How is the call quality? Uh, some people have complained about staticky or scratchy audio, but honestly I have had no problems with this whatsoever and have not experienced it. Calling seems crisp, clear, and overall very well. Of course this depends on your provider, I am on AT&T and have next to nothing in dropped calls. How about build quality? This phone has had some criticism on the amount of glass attached. This is not a phone you want to drop, although both sheets are glass are made out of Gorilla Glass 2, they still are prone to break, so mainly if you're careful or have a case around it you should be fine. The plastic rim around the phone seems a little chintzy, but the soft touch rubber behind it feels nice and allows for good grip and comfort. All buttons are well pronounced and I have had no difficulty pressing any of them. The screen is just amazing. Coming over 320 ppi, it's clear and colors look vibrant but not overwhelming. While watching movies, it's a joy to look at and overall, it's one of the best screens I've seen out on the phone. A really cool feature of the phone is the back. Of course, under certain angles of light, you will see it gives off an awesome holographic effect. Although this isn't anything essential, it's definitely a conversation starter and gets people's attention. Now let's talk about performance. The phone as intended with the BOSS processor and RAM performs amazing. Getting above 2000 on Geekbench and above 5000 on Quadrant, you know you're getting a really good phone and good performance. Through the menus of Jelly Bean 4.2, I find minimal lag and whenever there is lag, I'm usually running something intensive in the background. Gaming was excellent, this phone can take about any game you throw at it with high FPS rates and overall smoothness. The 2GB of RAM is also very nice for multitasking and in reality you really never have to worry about closing your background apps. Camera quality was actually pretty good, I was fairly impressed, I'd say under good conditions it was as good as the Galaxy S3 or iPhone 5. Here are some photos from when I went flying over the mountains in a Cessna 172. As you can see colors were nice and overall provides good quality picture. This video is from the same day and you can see it's smooth and overall decent good video that looks like it could have been shot from a point and shoot camera. I have left a link down below to where you guys can get the gallery of the photos in case you guys want to see more. With the built in photo editor it gives you some cool filters and adjustments that really make your photos pop. Honestly I've started using these rather than the Instagram built in filters. Of course with everything there are some bad things that irk me. Unfortunately as much as I hate to talk about them, this phone does have some. You're probably thinking that the lack of LTE makes me mad, but honestly, I'd take software updates, battery life, and performance over LTE any day. But keep in mind, out of the box, there will be no LTE availability. Although with the simple hack that I made a video on, you can turn the LTE radio that was included and be able to use LTE in Canada land and, in, and on T-Mobile in the future once they release their LTE and possibly AT&T in the future. I filmed a video on this so you can check that out below. Uh, some things that do get to me is the glass, although it's stunning and beautiful and one unfortunate drop could end that. I'm usually very careful with my phones so I'm not too worried but it's still out there. Another thing is the limited storage. They could have easily put in a micro SD card reader and honestly I would sacrifice weight and uh, the thinness of the phone just for one. My last irk was the speaker. Although it's loud and it's louder than that of the Galaxy Nexus speaker, it seems a little crackly at times when on high volumes and accidentally putting your hand or finger over it completely mutes it. These are all small things but they're things to keep in mind if you do decide to go out and purchase one. Some cool things that make the phone well a Nexus other than any other Android phone out in the market is the fact that it's backed up by so many developers that from day one, rooting, installing Clockwork Mod, and ROMing was available. So if you're really into development and modding, this is definitely a winner. 
Also, since this is a Nexus, that means that you get stock vanilla Android. No bloatware or anything that you don't want on the phone. Honestly, I don't like skins that much on Android, and I choose vanilla Android over anything else. As of right now, it's pretty difficult to get your hands on the Nexus 4, running at about $300 for the 8GB model and $350 for the 16GB model on the Play Store, it's an amazing price if you can get your hands on one. I was lucky enough to get one and not get it back ordered. You can also get it on contract through T-Mobile for about $200, but honestly paying the extra $100 to $200 to get it off contract is definitely worth it in my eyes. For one of the cheapest unlocked off contract smartphones out on the market, I can honestly say the Nexus 4 is definitely a competitor for your pocket. Coming from a Galaxy Nexus, it's still worth it. This phone has a lot of potential and in my eyes, Google has really taken advantage of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more. Uh, what other videos do you want to see? And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, have a nice day. Bye.